Hey guys, uh, I'm back, I guess. Um, you ready for some, uh, voice acting? God, I bet actual voice actors hate that I'm calling it even that, cause like, you know, they practice, they train, they actually have skill, and I'm kind of over here just like, doing whatever the heck this is. Um, but anyhow, we're gonna continue where we left off, and uh, where did we leave off? I don't even remember what happened last night, except that, oh my god, it was a super successful stream. I'm so glad that a bunch of you guys tuned in. I really appreciate it, and I know I can thank a lot of it to the TSAN Facebook group. Uh, big shout out to uh, Team Noobs, who has watched me since I started streaming, basically. He he picked me up on one of my first Kingdom Hearts 3 streams, and he's also now my first donator. It was amazing. Um, but I didn't get a chance to really shout him out last night because I didn't see the, the, the alert uh, because I forgot to add alerts to the scene. I heard the noise of like, doo -doo, like something came through, but that was it. Oh. One thing I do have to update though is the title. Because this is the same title as yesterday. Hmm. What is today's title? Yeah, not amazing, but you know. Is a thing, I suppose. Anyhow. Let's just get back into it. I'm, you know. You know how these things go. Cold, 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 cold. Um, let's find some pretty, pretty bopping beats over here. Uh, by the way, how's the audio? I was going over it last night. It seemed okay, but you know. Always, always a thing. You never know if something's gonna change between the time like closed OBS last and the time that I opened it. Um, I was also fussing about, actually, that's a good question. I was fussing about with some of the, the filters again. And I'm just like, um, oh, I switched to an exp the expander that came with the new OBS update over the original, um, Whatever the heck that was. The noise gate. <laughs> God. Anyway. Right. Alma's here, so... It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. That's not how I did her voice. Oh, Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently he got into some legal trouble and that's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. Really? It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is... His family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks, but he refuses to take his medication. Oh, so here's another thing. Um, some people in the, the group mentioned, hey, how come you have a this foam wind cover over the mic and a pop filter? Well, I wasn't very smart, and when I was just buying the microphone off of Amazon, it decided, hey, these things go together, you should buy them. And me, not knowing any better, I was like, ah, yeah, sounds good. Plausible could could improve the quality of the stream in a way that is totally intangible to every like 
imperceptible to anyone who hears it. But I've grown fond of this, like, double ceiling cut kind of thing. Anyway, not important. I just don't get what's up with him. Honey, some service here. That was terrible. <laughs> I'm here, don't scream. Oh ho, were you two hanging out, hanging out the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? <laughs> Something soft. Something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? But I like you! That's not how she says it, but you get the idea. Do you dislike my presence so much? Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say? All right. Let's see. Sweet drinks. And let's see. Ah, I can get the sugar rush, non-alcoholic. Oh. Here, like you asked. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans with cola. Lawrence? A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely, and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep. Why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me! Tell me! Mostly about your, um... Pluckiness. And here, I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey! I take pride in my job! Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it! Isn't it... dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that I had to- oh. Jeez. <clears throat> Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen- halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. It was a success! <clears throat> okay then. Let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. Alright. First, I do some research on the target. OS, servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. <clears throat> uh-huh. 
After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I... I see. Then, when I'm finally in, I go in and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. But, but... What happens next? What happens next? I... Create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I... I can't... I can't handle it anymore! Alma, hack me! Hack me like you've never hacked anything before! Eh? Make my buffer overflow! Create a backdoor in me! Escalate your user privileges! Find flaws in my security! <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> N no shit. What happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes? Yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilum are an unexploited market. I, I see. Oh, looks like my ride is here. Your ride? Yup, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. Hey Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure. It's on the way. Yay! I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems... noisy. Oh. A client. Hello. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get... How do I want to do this guy's voice? Can I make him a pop, like, poshy, like, lordy type, you know? Hmm. Such a small yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkies can just sit to kill their insides. Truly, a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. All right, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What will you have then? Seventeen. Uh, excuse me? I said seventeen. Seven plus teen. Uh, what does that mean? What does it mean to you? Mm, this song's kind of... Makes you feel some kind of way, you know? 
Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. 17, the hell does that mean? Alright, let's take a look at something that has 17 in it. Maybe 17 ingredients or something. Two, two, two. No, that's, that's, if my math is correct, and my math isn't great, but that's 10. Wait, is there anything with a direct reference to 17? Zen star is a four of each ingredient, so that's no. Three, no. Wait, uh, no. That's 10. I don't know. What? What's 17? Uh, something with optional Karmatrine, and then I add seven, like seven, like it's got ten regular ingredients and seven Karmatrine. I don't know. That's no. Three times, no. Eight out of ten, no. Uh, I'm gonna just go for it. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that makes six, and then I need 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, explain. Uh, the total of ingredients here add up to 17. See, that's, that's what I went with. Beautiful. And what brings you here, Mr... I'm Armandio Virgilio Armandio. Oh, sorry. I'm Armandio. Virgilio Armandio. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lovely Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines on the corner. No, 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 no. You're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today has been quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised given how things have been going in the streets, though. Humans are a nasty bunch. That much is true. Making a ruckus coming at each other. But that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah, then give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Uh, like I said, I don't know exact details, I just know that isn't right. If memory serves right, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another lion is killed, or something. takes over a pride. You can't take over pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, not zoologist bartender. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? 
the atomic number of chlorine? No, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know? Uh, the group where halogens are in the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. Didn't he say halogen earlier, or something like that? Okay then, I give up. Seventeen is us. Eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. And I'm pretty sure that's not true. It's 23. Wh what is? Oh, I just realized his little widow's peak here is a question mark. Sorry, that, that should have been, like, immediately obvious, but, you know. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea? Primal... Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume, served in a man's hat. Okay. He wants a plum, floating, perfume, in a... Son of a bitch. But I know exactly what that is, and that's a fedora. <laughs> because of course it is. Uh... Sorry, that was labeled plum fume. I pressed it a little fast. Here. Huh! You didn't... Wait. You did? Enjoy! I will. I'll drink this... Um... Perfume. You don't really have to... Yeah. That'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about... death? Uh, how? What if we're already dead? Both of us. What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we were not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his room? I wonder if that's really what it, what it is. Honestly, I could see my life being written by some stupid unemployed 20-something in his room. I could punch you to make you feel reality. I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. Understand that our glorious Earth is in fact Flat. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The habanera has started. It means the twilight of the gods in German. By the way. <laughs> well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Um... What? A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Ah, oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec! What? <clears throat> about 
five gigabytes of reports have proved, uh, blah, about five gigabytes of reports proving that several White Knight squads have been used to cover illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counterterrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corps CEO on the subject, but until then, things are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar has quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll stay tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. <sighs> Let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zonkan Toe on hand, just in case. Uh, the metal bat with nails? There's nothing it can't bash! Heh. Say. Jill. Four. Hope everything's better by tomorrow. Sleep tight, I'll protect you. Oh man, I ship Jill and the boss so hard. They're so cute. Oh, God, it's the best. On a side note, Pat's for me because I uh, didn't screw up any orders. It's now safe to keep playing. One second. How are we doing today? I would like to see how the stream is actually going l -l live. Just to know that it is. Oh, that's unfortunate. The name, oh, no, done. Sometimes the name takes a second to update, but it looks okay. Anyway, back to business. Rise and shine! <sighs> Good morning. Yawns are really easy for me to do because I'm always tired. Yeah, that's my secret. I'm always tired. It's 11 a.m. though. That's morning for me on the weekends, and any other day. How's everything outside? Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them at least. How so? Zaibatsu Corps president, uh, Zaibatsu Corps president is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. There have also been reports of white knights just freezing like they were petrified somehow you make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place well i'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building sure there's still some bad apples out and it's not really safe yet but it was worse last night there also seems to be a civilian force lynching any white knight they spot that's a little concerning so not only are the white knights on uh la, so not only are the white knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. I wonder if Say is okay. Should we be worried about Jill? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say even safer where wherever he is than here. I sure hope so. Are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Oh, alright. 
say, do you want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah. I'd appreciate that. Okay, then. Let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. Wow, this is the most, like, uh, Metal Gear thing I've seen thus far. Metal Gear, Resident Evil 4, the just transceiver codec type thing. And here we are! Home sweet home, thanks a lot. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a bit? <laughs> hmm? Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit. You know, do some uh, future flicks and chill. Some shining fingered and chill, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm kidding. Mostly to thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway. So yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. Oh? To more beer? I, I, I was gonna say, to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Uh, so this is also Japanese, so I'm just gonna say it the way I think that they would say it. Uh, Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me though. Smoke if you wanna. Thanks. Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? It gets cold from time to time, but nothing the Kotatsu and the heater can't fix. Oh right. Boss, you're not very good with the cold, are you? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here either. Yeah, I left it at home when going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. I have this hoodie from some time ago and it was too big for me. Why buy it then? It was dirt cheap. Right. Wait, wh where did you get this one? I don't know, some flea market ages ago? Why? N nothing. It's just like one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use, it just... ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. Um... We'll see. Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. All right. Let me go change into something more comfortable. Take your time. And it's four, my favorite kitty. Say, Jill, there's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring in my general direction. Hmm? Oh, that's just four. He just wary of new any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll warm up quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual looking. Blue eyes on a black cat? They usually have green. Yeah, weird, huh? At first I thought they were like that because he was small, but they never changed. Do you have any pet? uh, do you have any pets, boss? Well, back at home we had a bear. Ah, I sweat. 
Good old Bosco. He kept intruders away better than any dog. R right. Hmm? This picture here isn't something you see every day. What? What? Me taking such a sappy pic? No, a framed picture on a on printed paper. It's so vintage. Who are these? That's um The one on the right is Le Lenore, Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabrielle, her sister. So yeah, I called it. Jill is like a lesbian. Huh. Is this pick recent or Actually, that one's from three to four years ago. You look exactly the same. I'm only 27, what'd you expect? They say, that's when, blah, that's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures of their exes so openly. Let alone a printed and framed one. Did you two break up on good terms then? You even hesitated a bit when you when calling her your ex. <sighs> Let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things. And me storming out of our house, breaking a couple things on the way out. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away. Haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing. And you look so happy in the pic. Why have her pick out like this then? I just couldn't get my mind off something that Alma said to me. About missing having the warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head in their chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. I don't know. I felt nostalgic, then miserable. I'll just put this away. I've been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm? What's that on the table? Looks like an envelope. It's nothing! Nothing! Now please, give that to me. Low. Alright. I saw nothing. Don't worry. I anyway. Let's grab some beers. Got me. Oh, this is cool. Oh, they look so cute. Oh, the wallpaper I got is Kirimiki. Or, no, that's the poster. But I think the wallpaper I got is Kirimiki. It's just the right color. Damn, you have lots of beer. Oh, and you can just choose when to drink. Well, the BTC gives me discounts in a point card I can use every time I buy their alcohol. With that, beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. And besides, the one in the bar is more of a double IPA. This one's more of a pilsner. In English, please. This one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. Dunno, it doesn't taste like a lighter to me. 
Wild loss, okay. <laughs> yeah. Is this one made with that, um... What was the name of the base liquid you used at the bar again? Nutriogenic Dichometrical Lidogenol, or NDL. Take a drink. And open another beer. It was a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they created to replace water when the Maiden Kiss polluted water supplies. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. But the BTC, uh, uh, the BTC still commissioned it for use in bars. And is this one made with it? Let's see. Yep, here it is. Near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. They need it for packaged drinks. I see. And I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. You want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really, no. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend then, boss? Why wouldn't I? Dunno, what with being my boss and all. I was never too sure. Well, in case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Besides, you and Jill are always so diligent and responsible that I'm boss in name only anyway. Drink twice. That's good to know. On a side note, surprise me you kept that poster of me in the room. And even more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Does it make you uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why you did it, though. Aside from filling an empty spot in the wall, I don't know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess it's like if someone gave you... I don't know. A dildo-shaped trophy or something, and you had it there as a conversation starter. Well, that's a way of putting it. Although no one comes here anyways, so it's kind of pointless. What? No steamy nights of passion? Not since... A year ago, I think. And I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. No, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess. Uh... Not being able to have sex for reasons, mess. And you know what? Keep drinking, cause that's a thing. Glad to know you have my back though. That's what friends are for. Wait, you talk about, about the blah. <clears throat> Wait, you talk about the poster and compared it to having a dildo shaped trophy. Did you just call me dildo face? That's what friends are for. Hey Jill, where did you get that black four ball? Oh, I got it, like fur ball, four ball. Well, as with any black cat or house cat in general, he's actually a stray. I found him in the alley is near the building, not long after I moved here, I think. Ah, I see. It was quite the sight though. He was cornered by all these dogs, but they were keeping their distance. He was holding his ground, hissing and scratching as much as he could. There was a fried chicken bucket nearby that had some rainwater in it, so I threw the water over the dogs. They ran, and I figured the cat's mom would be nearby, so I left. Then I noticed people looking in my direction as I walked. Turns out the little shit started following me. 
so you brought it home. At first, I wanted to see if I could find him a new home, but... Having him welcome me whenever I come back was just too much for my heart. So we ended up staying. Pure... Pureness and wholesomeness everywhere. Ah, uh, just like... Huff that shit. Oh. We need more pureness in this world. Too much... Too much other nonsense. It was destiny, girl. When he came, he was so cute, though. Not like the fat mess that's sleeping on the table. Hey, you're not a spring chicken yourself, you know? Oh! Shit, I actually did that in front of someone else. So she... That's why it's four quotation marks. She talks for and talks as for oh ho 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 no 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 sorry that's more like a oh ho 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 uh, uh, anyway don't anyway me do you normally speak for your cat like that maybe <sighs> I wonder if Jill's alright you worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Jules so much, though. There's three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely hates bell pepper. He does. Oh. I've seen him even reject food that has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Unless he's allergic or something. He's not. Man, what a baby. <laughs> oh, this is great. How did you meet such a guy? He showed up in the door of the bar. He... What? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert in the levitation potion. Right. Levitation potion. It was a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have any have money on him. I couldn't leave him alone. So I pretty much gave the drinks for free. And after a couple, he broke down crying. He... Huh? I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him if he could wash himself, I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Damn. I tried and failed to find out anything about him, so I decided to take him at face value. I judge him for what he did as an employee, and aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. I return the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time. Sometimes literally. What surprises me is that you took him in so easily. I can take care of myself and I always keep kept an eye on him. And besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate so easily. So I think the implication is that Robert, like, probably OD'd or dr drugged himself with something so he could go through with a suicide. Or maybe he was suicidal and he, I don't, I don't know. I see. You've made the bar more lively yourself, you know? How so? Well, with the regulars you've earned, of course. Like that blonde titty hacker. I can't remember her name. Alma? I was gonna say Armitage. Well, she's hot. I'll give her that much. She's also a nice person in general, but damn. She's hot. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah, why? 
Sorry, should I start slurring my words? It's weird to see you s uh, say so openly that someone's hot. What? Even you can see she has a hot body, boss. Yo, for no objection here. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about taking her to a room and... Just keep chugging them. Just keep going. <laughs> Jill, you sure you aren't drunk? I am. I mean, I'm sure I'm not. I mean... Hmm. <clears throat> but those are thoughts I leave to myself. I don't think I could handle her in a relationship. She has... Weird standards. That and she's as straight as straight gets. She's still a lovely person, though. That she became a regular is a blessing. Any regular is a blessing when you get down to it. There's also that sex worker robot girl. Ah, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though. I've seen lots of sex workers over the years, and she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but rather that she takes to it with such childish excitement. I've kind of noticed that, too. Then again, Lilum can be weird. Wow, racist. <laughs> you think? Lilum operate in some really foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share our fear of mortality. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotions, like fear or love, but they're... different. Like a different culture, if you must. Hmm. I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a DFC sem- uh, um, Oh my god, my throat hurts so much. One second, I need a drink. So how is everyone in the world? You know, I ask these questions primarily because it's it's hump day. Hump day. You know what that means? That means for me, to, I always have to look forward to Thursday where I have four classes and I'm basically there from, like I have to wake up around like eight or nine or something because it takes me that long to get to class, like 30 minutes and then Class starts around 9.45, and I don't get out till maybe 8-ish. Real pain in the butt. A lot of times I skip lunch because I'm just too cheap. I'm not advocating for anyone to skip lunch at all. Don't do it. But, I'm cheap. It's a social interactions model or something. Lilum get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main po purpose, so... I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. The name Lilum is a bit weird, though. It is? You'd expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilum doesn't convey the image of automatons. Just a tip, bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Now we're getting into the real racial history. Bot is akin to calling them retarded, and doll is like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilum? As far as I know, because they all come from a bigger AI called Lilith. Ah, uh, now we're... we're we're getting into it. And Lilum are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Ooh, cool. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne and you almost tore me a new one when, uh, with your glare. See? Like that! It's no big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud. Try me. Well, do you ever watch Model Warrior Julianne? Not all of it, but my little sister's a big fan of the reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything, from the dolls to the costumes to the lunchboxes. It didn't help that it was one of those shows that got strapped literally everywhere. I saw a couple of episodes once. They were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show is about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. Basically a magical girl. With, like, some mecha component, I guess. How the show presented Jules hating her job because it invited enemies, and yet still found solace in trying to be a role model. Hell, the main character wasn't a kid. Julianne was an adult that became younger when transformed. I'd say it was a pretty ambitious kids show. Even by today's standards. Just the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty standards of body image? Challenging as fuck. Whoa, you got excited there. And that is the problem. Back then, I was obsessed with Jules. I sang the songs, dressed like her, I could even recite full chapters. Something tells me you still can. That's beside the point. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but then I went to middle school. And what a surprise, tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold it against Jules. I always hold my grudge against these, those fuck jobs. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age? I worried about jerk asses singing the theme tune of the show mocking me. Anyways, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. <clears throat> I never talk about it because I find the whole thing too silly in retrospect. And yet, it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it though. It's actually kinda reasonable. I sure hope so. Come to think of it. Oh, damn, I didn't even realize she's been getting red. Oof. So here's a confession. And it's the reason why today's stream is titled, uh, what's it titled? I'm allergic to alcohol. Spoiler, I'm allergic to alcohol. Whoops. Yeah, spoiler alert, I'm allergic to alcohol. Sorry. When I drink even half a can of beer, a can, not a glass, nothing, not a bottle, just cheapest piss water you can find, I get super red. Like I can make stop signs look not red. I could be a red light. It's really, and, it, and, and you know, in low lighting, not that noticeable, but when you put me against the wall, it's like, oh, who painted, who painted it? I'm not so self-conscious about it because I think it's a neat party trick, but I also really, really can't handle my alcohol like at all. So for that reason, I really don't drink. Instead, I, um, I smoke a lot of weed. Not encouraging anyone to do anything in any specific way, I'm just saying that's who I am. And some, this one time when I was in Japan, I got accused of, like, he's like, what kind of guy doesn't drink alcohol? Like, are you some Buddhist? I'm like, no, but I, I smoke weed, you know? He's like, is that a thing? Hey man, to each their own, you know? Back to the story. Come to think of it, what kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind to always fight with kids bigger than me. Then puberty happened and I became the Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. Oh, no, actually, 
Yeah, drinking is, but the dude who, like, accosted me for that, he was American. He was just a standard fuckboy white dude. He's like, you don't, you don't drink, what the fuck? So yeah, that's not a... Actually, the people who I met in Japan who did know that I, like, knew anything about me, they were super cool and they didn't care because... Like, in the youth, drugs are so not a thing. Like, they're just like, nobody talks about it, nobody acknowledges it, really. They don't know enough about it to have a strong opinion either way. At least, that's what seemed to be the case with the people that I met. So they were cool. But yeah, American fuckboy. What do you know? You have to go to Japan to find more of them. Back to, back to the story. <clears throat> Then puberty happened and I became the Merriam-Webster de definition of a shallow jerkwad. Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was and went on to become who I am today. And the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Yeah, he was pretty bad. Because <laughs> apparently, people like accused him of being like a fuckboy and kind of a douche. And then he would start defending himself, and in defending himself and the actions that he made, he came off as, wouldn't you know it, more of a douche. It's kind of like, you know, you are what you are, and you just don't know it. <laughs> anyway, fair enough. Say, boss, how do you like them men? Ooh, ooh, is she gonna make the moves? She might be, because I'm nine, nine beers in. <laughs> 2D. Oh, she's one of those. I... I had this, uh... This crush on this girl in high school. Who was, like... She's not a Fujoshi. She likes just 2D guys. She just wasn't... Interested in real guys. So I, unfortunately didn't get anywhere with that relationship aside from being you know friends which was cool she was a really cool person and I you know whatever I was a teenage guy and I was stupid 2d yes I don't mind anything as long as that thing is cute or 2d how about you um Back in high school, I liked them funny. <laughs> That's... Man, if I, if I was actually a skater boy, more girls would be like, hey. <laughs> but no, I was never into skate culture. And when I tried to pick it up in college, like I thought about it for a hot minute, I went all the way out to, I don't know, someplace in who knows where, Virginia. It's not someplace, who knows? It was actually like a famous like skate shop. They were closed, like apparently permanently or something like that. I, and I didn't know because there was no notification on the website or whatever. Just my luck. Because I was like, I, I really wanted to get to campus on a skateboard because I thought it would be easier than walking. But now I just walk everywhere, so. Back in high school, I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. Like most college girls th these days do. I guess. After a while, I just wanted them stable, and now... And now? I... don't know. Let's chug this whole can. Keep going. <sighs> I stopped caring about them being funny. My high school boyfriend started conflating, cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. I also stopped caring about them being successful. I realized half the time they had no qualms about cheating with me or on me. And I stopped caring about them being stable. And I realized they were the kind of people. Ah, they were the kind of person I was trying not to become. Not become stable? There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he hated, he started being physically ill. 
Not only that, the last time I managed to get some, I ended up throwing the guy out. He took incredible offense with how I smoked on the bed after sex. I mean, the bed could catch fire, you know? Not you too. I kinda envy Alma for that. At least when she dumps a guy, it's for less petty reasons. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just... It all boils down to the fact that I can't get my mind off Lenore lately. She was... She was all of what I just said. She made me laugh. She had a good position and was stable. She was also smart, caring, and... Why can't I get my mind off the whole thing? It's... It's maddening. Maybe I should go and apologize? Maybe I should. Maybe that will make me rest easier at night. Get my mind off things for a while. I don't even care about going back to her, but... But... Oh! Sorry, that was more of like a puke noise than a frustration. Hey, Jill. Have you tried thinking about clothes for four? Clothes for... Heh. <laughs> Listen. I know how you must feel. But you can't let all that cloud your senses. No, but this 11 beers are probably not helping. Next time you feel overwhelmed by those thoughts, Try distracting yourself. Like with, say, thinking what kind of clothes you can put on four. Yeah. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in the circle too, so any insults you hurl will apply right back to you. Anyways, I have this friend I've known for a long time. A uh, red-headed, glasses-wearing gun nut called Iris. The one you called for the helmet thing? That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's called N1RV N. A. And if you thought this city was dangerous... So, spoiler alert, Nirvana is supposedly the sequel that's been in the works since this game came out. I'm pretty excited for that one too. You should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with. And means it's an annex to another business. What else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her, hot her hotel's bar. She moved the bar to its own building somewhere else and, oh, elsewhere and opened Nirvana and, oh, sorry, N1 RV and B in the hotel instead. Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. So that bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. That aside, let's see. Friends, friends. Hmm. I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from when I was with the Neo San Francisco po Police Force. Good old Lexi. Should give her a call sometime. Wait, you were in the what? I've done lots of things, Jill. I spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter, chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate, what? I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Jill, my sis, Iris, and Lexi, hmm. I 
guess there are a lot of people that don't want to see me in harm's way. Uh, in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. What about you? I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home, in college. I went out a lot. But I felt more like going out was the pleasure, rather than the people involved. Last can. Aside from you and Jill, my closest friend since moving here is Alma. Well, and Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but that cat's a hermit that refuses to go out. And you know, he's a cat. Hey, a cat's fine too, you know? And that is the quote that I want to change my bio to. <laughs> Actually, can we... I'm going to change the title right now to that. Hey, a cat's fine too. It's a great name. Wow, my throat is so sore. Boss. Give a little filthy prank. Hey, boss. <laughs> yeah. Um. Whoops. I didn't mean to drink again. Hmm? How did you lose your V-card? <laughs> v, v, huh? You know, your, your V-card. Your first time. Your deflowering. Oh! That! I'm legally bound to not disclose that information. Does that mean you lost it? Can't disclose that information. Come on, just give me a hint or... Jill, bad things will happen for everyone if that info is revealed in any way. All right, all right. Sheesh. I can only say this. The whole thing is related to my mechanical arm. Great. Now you're just teasing me. Any reason you want to know that? Well, everyone's first time is always a mess, but I've always... I've always to know if it was as messy as a time as mine. What? What happened? Well, I got all lovey-dovey with my first boyfriend, and we, were, we both got naked, and I... Yeah. When I saw his... <laughs> when I saw his dick, I just started... La -la <laughs> I started laughing. Yeah. Sorry. Don't even know what that was. What? Got nervous? Nervous? No. I just find dicks funny. You... Huh? They're funny. They're... And we're out of beer. They have a sack attached to them and... <laughs> and they grow and... They're just... <laughs> Stupid meat rods! Oh god, my neighbors hate me. <laughs> so how did your boyfriend react? He went flaccid from the laughter and... <laughs> it just shrunk and went limp! I had to work it out to the... Oh. I had to work it out to for a bit so I could control my laughter, but... It's so hard! They're just so stupid! <laughs> okay. <laughs> stupid meat rods. Chill? Oh. 
Huh. Well, let's see how to move her back inside before she catches a cold. Tender. Chapter 2, Amarga. Wow. I know that inflation, but still. It's okay, I got some money. Alright. Oh, boss left the hoodie anyway. Okay. So let's see what we're gonna do here. We, 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 we first, 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 first. Let's, uh... Oh, can I... Uh, I wanna save? Okay, Save. Then, then I go to the shop and I'll buy the Daruma. Which one's the Daruma? Daruma, Daruma, Darut Sandstorm, Daruma. Cracked Daruma. A Japanese souvenir that has seen better days still has a vintage charm to it. That costs four fifty. So I'm mm, I'm guessing the twenty fourth is in five days, if I'm reading that right. Let's read some uh, some not four chan. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augments and I talked about it very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always trying to write serious shit, but I think AE got tired of her. Fucking shame. So all we get is clickbait from now on. Oh. Sad. Gonna get worse at the very least. White Knights say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three people already dead. How? Is someone sh there shooting people? Looks like it was the security from the building, but I've got no detail yet. Details yet. Weird as fuck. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on, Insider Anon, you gotta give us more. Doing my best here. Thanks, based Anon. Explosion registered, and media still quiet about it. Can confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs, not just one? That's right. Do we have any clue on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned, and it looks like it's not a group. Some deep shit right there. Uh, but just one person who set up all this. That's pretty ballsy. And it's just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker's helping out hostages to escape and they're suspected, suspecting of Alice. Huh, so someone doing stupid shit on the internet is being actually useful. I wonder if it was Alma helping people. That would make sense. Finally confirmed the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage is actually pretty unsettling. Damn. The files are available from approximately 6,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from the glitch to the uh, government and white knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside the build inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you make how do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, it looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for future posts. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed, Anon. Thanks. And the augmented eye. Oh. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Danger You with a new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin, known as Furfur, -Fur, for a second time. We have no details to give other than that he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. Cybercrimes Unit's uh, Lisette Blanc told the Augmented Eye during a call. We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. 
When inquired about the arrest, Furfur would only respond with a calm, not this shit again. That's pretty cool. You just thought about looking up prices. Did, did not. So remember, she's talking to herself. Because Four sleeps most of the time. So nano camo is the thing that makes my wallpaper this. If underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, Nano Camo has you covered. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. Gross. Just change this color to black and you will barely notice. That won't change the smell though, they're not that advanced. We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this innovative product. A PR representative told the Augmented Eye, I'm already using them. Super comfy if you ask me. GSF and, uh, January 4th card announced 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke headlining. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. But it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers such as the great DK and Aaron's. Full card below. 66 American Kid vs. Giant Yusuke GSF Championship. Red Comet Jr. vs. Nagisa. Women's Championship. Akito vs. the great DK. Roy Campbell vs. Aaron's GSF. So, I'm pretty sure Roy Campbell is a Metal Gear character. Jack Baum and Blaze vs. Huli and Karakolta. Tag Team Championship. Osuna versus Siegfried. Um, any posts to the Kiramiki? No? That's it. Uh, and yeah, let's go to work. Oh wait, let me say one more time. I didn't do anything, I just read, but you know, it's a habit. Going to work. Evening, Jill? Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait. That's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. See, you, Jill? He'll be there. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Jill. Thanks, I guess. What? Are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen. I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried? Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I... couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I see. Don't think I'm rejecting the gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. R right. Um, boss. About last night... I think I said one too many things, and uh... So what? Drunk banter is something you see every day, it's not like I'm gonna think less of you because of it. Relax. If anything, I feel close to you after seeing you so wasted. Oh. So yeah, don't give it much thought. <laughs> Stupid meat rods. 
And town is fine. Did I miss anything? Nothing. Let's go. Are you okay? Your face is red. I'm fine. And the music. Seriously, do I have to buy something to get the remaining songs? Or is that like a bonus or something? What's the deal here? Okay. Uh... Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Jill? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Somebody who's really, like... Serious? Very businessy. Hmm. Excuse me. I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guy's looking for you! Tell him I'll be there in a bit! <laughs> She'll... Um... You heard her. It's alright. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um, I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Handle me like I'm just another client. Uh, Alright, I, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. I feel like I'm being lazy with the voice. I'd like to give it a little bit something else. Here. Okay. Let me let me give one 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 second to change it up. Okay. You know what? The music gave me an idea. Yeah, this one's nice! Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. You can't even do that. Your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh. They never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana's talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning about how I got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. And where to start? You saw the news on the information leak during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? Uh, about the White Knights having lots of no members from criminal organizations in their ranks. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although, it takes a bit of time to set up. It's apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? 
young bars are the ones under the radar right now. And the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Jill. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has the drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. That is the... So they can bleep out the the garbage, like the thing that you me messed up many different ways, but that this, this particular spelling here doesn't look good. Potential spelling, I don't, I don't like it. I, did I forget the ice? Here. I completely lost the character. Oh, jeez. Excited. Joe compliance. Let's go. The registry... Ah, jeez. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert? Yes. Yeah, yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Jill, though. Uh, it, it's Argentinian slang. R Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Jill. Huh, I see. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although... Yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders. A top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now if you'll excuse me... I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, uh, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um... Just call me Stella. And get me a big beer, please. Huh. Sure. On it. It's weird because Stella normally gets the... She normally gets the, um, fancier, classier drinks. That's her thing.
Oh, and I don't even say anything. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um... You know Say, right? Of course. What's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair and... Oh. Right. That. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her? As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah... I figured as much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but that would sound a bit... condescending. What does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh... There was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art... No, Van... No, Vondelay? Oh. That Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whatever they might be. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with the swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just... Weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Here. Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say is more than a friend to me. She's... She's... Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and bringing on a daily basis. An upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want. And vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about that out. Uh, sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the, se the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still. Would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. 
Jill, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. God. What was the... What's the count at? How are we doing? Oh, boy. Oh, I am, uh, pooped. My throat is killing me. <clears throat> we only got, like, 15 minutes left, and I kind of want to finish off strong. So I'm going to do my best to really, like, get it here. You know what I mean? So... Give me one sec. I'm doing what I can. Ugh. More water is always the order of the day. Hmm. So in other news, I uh, I found some um, money somewhere. You know, how people find money. And I uh, spent it on um, getting a boom arm for the microphone, as well as a shock mount. Supposedly in, like, idle, stationary recording scenarios, environments, whatever, like the one I'm in. Like, I'm not taking this up on a stage or anything. You don't really need a shock mount. But I didn't want to like not have one and then find out when I mounted mount up the mic that it was in sore need of one. So I was just like, okay. The really garbage thing though is that Blue Yeti mics uh, really encourage you to buy their branding blue other devices or accessories. So I got the Blue Radius 3 shock mount and the Blue Compass boom arm because they were compatible, basically. Anyway, I'm hoping that that improves things somewhat, especially when I'm feeling tired and don't feel like sitting upright super hard and wanting to like lean back a little. This chair that I'm in, I picked it up like used and the right arm is busted and it's kind of like a POS, you know, I just like, It's not as comfortable as I wish it was. Anyway, back to the story. God damn, is it chilly outside? I'm back. Okay. This is... I'm gonna do Art's voice. If I remember from last night, a little difficult, but I'm gonna try. I'm a kid like you know about that, right? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. The detective guy comes in, Cat Boomer Girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Core offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I don't deny Zaibatsu Core is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, by enhance you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? I'm doing this so poorly. We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. Man. I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. 
true, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corps has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI intelligence program, they... Blah. The AI intelligent... In the AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's Lilim prison. AI went rogue? Transfer it to a delivery drone or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Zabatsu Corps' success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will f plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh... Zaibatsu Corps' main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously th thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you! Don't just sit there. Give me a Zen Star! Sure. Let's make a Zen Star for the sore baby. One, two, three, four. 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 On the rocks. Mixed. Here. Oh, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over t time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more likely, more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been pr positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty much your answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. I think some people could learn from this in today's political climate. But that's just me. Yeah. Witcher. Whatever. The earth is flat. Okay, I gotta stop with the flat earth jokes. They're just like, too much. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she just wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. I only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. 
She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Well, um... Just get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. Pfft, on it. Better make them before I laugh too hard. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you I made a classy bad touch. When you line up to slap him... Um... Are you okay, Jill? I'm fine. <laughs> Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank for all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose and she happened to be at the... Um... What? Oh. I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the, th the last thing I'm worried about with Say is people. Why's that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire by herself. She didn't need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine, get his order. Here. Well, this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive from the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else about Miss Hoshi. Oh, sorry. I'll let you know if I find anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Alright then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is... soothing. I'll just get... So Go sit over there, near the arcades. Alright then, that would be all, Di Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with, um... Robert. <laughs> Bro, 
Ryan, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 M- What? MI6 Hall C. Right, right. Oh. If it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Oh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um... This holophone's an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Uh, I'm Jill. S say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. Jeez. She's not hurting anyone, and we won't. And wouldn't you say it's more interesting that what? It finally hung up. Phew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. Ah, I have an idea. <clears throat> I have <gasps> arrived yet again at the... <coughs> oh god, at the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing a society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. Does he mean wind or wind here? I'm not sure. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um... I was jogging. Dress like that. I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Something fake. Uh, huh. Oh, I guess beer's fake, right? One, two... One, one, one... Two, one, two, three, four... Here you go! Now, tell me why this is fake! Because I didn't even try? Wait, fuck. Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Seriously? Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah. He told me, stop touching the exhibits. You're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Eh? Uh, he uh? still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. 
Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. One, uh, Fringe Weaver coming right up, question mark? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Aged and mixed. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. Ugh. Hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. M me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, I think... No, 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 no. We haven't met. Ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Ah, uh, Jill. I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me. Have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't e met ever at all. Never. Ever. 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 Good talking to you, bartender. Um... Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep. Quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit! That Virgilio guy! So you two actually met before. Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Jill stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well... We were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last. Oh, uh, last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to... Uh... Explain the situation with... Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy if I, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yeah. It must be nothing. Flawless service. I did it. Jill's a bit tense. Buying her a shoulder massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. Also, that bill... We're looking good. She's bringing four to work? Hmm. Alright. 
<sighs> yeah, sorry guys. Obviously a little bit more tired today. Wednesdays always feel like that for me. I'm just like, I have to wake up so early and the fact that I have a bunch of work and junk to do for Thursdays. Wednesdays suck, dude. I hate Wednesdays. Hate them almost more than Mondays. That's how much I hate Wednesday. It's not even enough to say I'm close to the weekend, you know? Anyway, I'm not going to be streaming this Friday because I've decided I need to spend some time catching up on producing original YouTube content. So on Friday, what I'll be doing is most likely recording some playthroughs that'll only go up to YouTube, which you could check out if you look up Bishido on YouTube. Uh, I think the link is also in my panels down below. Um, there is also the case of recording the remainder of the Kingdom Hearts stuff, where I find some more hidden Mickeys and also get the secret ending, which I screwed up. And I'm probably going to re-record the, the credits, because the first time around, I kind of... I didn't know if I would get copy strikes for having that recorded, so I wasn't really paying attention. Anyway, uh, basically, I'll see you guys next week, okay? Tune in on Tuesday at the usual um, 6.30 time, and uh, yeah, I hope it's as successful as yesterday's. Today was slow, but it's okay, it's a Wednesday, I, I blame zero people. Anyway. This was the Bishido Pretty Boy stream. Uh, stay pretty, y'all. Bye!